How many guys are you interested in? Just a couple, you know. Just a couple. Yeah. You're using couple very loosely, like couple means two. Some of them. Oh, she's interested in like sixteen guys. Not sixteen. And she's like, let's see who who, it's kind of like five, who shows six. up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, choices are always good, you know. Yes. You should have propaganda verse and like bad and bad. He sucks. Because his mom's name was like yeah, yeah. yeah. I should have said that. Doesn't pay the doesn't pay the bills. You know, he's a mama's boy. You know, <laughs> falls asleep while having sex. <laughs> On you. That happens. Yeah. Okay. Does that happen with you? And wow, man. This this is right out the fucking Bollywood movie. The guy blocks his son and she falls in love with him. Have I not seen this? Have you guys not seen this? This is so miserable. Kurt Cobain would not be proud. Jim Morrison who wants to see this guy, this guy you are dating. He didn't want to be like, he don't want to tell people that you are his girlfriend. You think Jim Morrison want to tell you that he, he knows you? He's ever seen you? Obviously, Jim Morrison would be more important than like, taking care of seeing you. Well, she said it. I'm going to repeat it. Can you just repeat it? I don't know what I want. That's exactly the story of life. Happened. If I may ask, and, and we have not discussed this thing, and what we can share, like what happened? Why did you split? Split. Split. <laughs> did he find somebody better with a better rack? <laughs> rack means breasts. There are racks of clothes and dresses everywhere, and for some reason, Dolly's rack is so much bigger. Well, Dolly's rack is. Bigger. I'm, I'm not as big as tall as you girls, but I hadn't got so bunched up at the top. I, I'm just, I'm just kind of addressing the elephants in the room. Anyway, I have a good rack. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> um. Uh, actually, so we were on an internship break, and it's like three months long. And uh, the first month went nicely. The second month, he started acting weird, and um, he would not text me back. This one day was just really weird. Uh, he'd never text me back. He didn't send me any pic pictures on Snapchat, and that's really unlikely of him because he is always on Snapchat. He was one of those people. So um, uh, I don't know. You know that day, I had this really weird feeling inside me. Like sometimes. I just feel like really intuitive about something, so I sat down on my laptop and I deleted all our pictures together. I did that. I just I wasn't feeling good, so I deleted all our pictures that were there together. And the next day he he sends me a long breakup text. He's like, uh, I don't think this is working, and uh, I want you to date other people because I can't do what you want me to. And he used to smoke uh, a lot of weed. And uh, I was like, when we started dating, I was like, you have to cut down on smoking, cause I cannot feel like I'm making out with the rubber all the time, cause his mouth used to be super dry. So I used to tell him that you should you know uh, quit, not quit, but like cut down on smoking. And uh, uh, so he's like, he, I can't do that. And uh, you know, he's just kind of very immature, cause he's like, now she's my ex, so I don't want to talk to her. Even though I tried to kind of reconcile, I was like, okay, that happened, but we can always be friends. And he was like, I don't want to talk about it. No, we cannot always be friends. Yeah. So yeah, that would be psychopathic. I mean, benefits. That's only that works. 
Yeah. But so this turns out like I mean, going off on a slight tangent, but I because we didn't talk about not a tangent, but from the same thing. Do you think he has problem? Like because he was somebody you're dating and you he's still there, right? Still very in you know striking visible distance, right? Do you think he has serious problem? Do you think he has an addict, as people would say? And people will say you can't get addicted to weed. I mean, you can get addicted to anything. I'm not saying he's gonna die because of that, but I'm saying it looks kind of that doesn't look good, right? Yeah, but it's, uh, I have, like I've heard from his friends and they're like he's he stopped smoking as much. So I don't really know. I think, smoking up. Yeah, smoking up much, and uh, I just feel like you know if he has a good enough reason, he can. But he, yeah. So, but you think he's alright? He's not in some danger zone. No, no, no. He's alright. He's gonna get like put on the pictures on the cigarette wrappers. <laughs> Where is the cigarette wrapper? Is it still here? Yeah. It's yeah. Cool. They put my picture on the cigarette wrapper. It looks like me, down. right? It's upside, upside down. Upside down? Okay. I mean, it looks like me. I, I didn't pay me any royalties. That's exactly how I look. When, when, when looking bad. I mean, today I'm not looking as good. That's like... I don't know. They don't even... Last, last time they put John Terry, who was like English captain. And they put Sebastian Bastig, uh, uh, Bastian Schweinsteiger, who was German soccer team captain. He didn't even know that. They were selling cigarettes in Singapore or Hong Kong. Or it was one of those country, cities, countries. I think it was Singapore. And then in India, they were selling John Terry on gold flakes. Who was England captain, football captain, who was the fittest person and they're showing his lungs and like <laughs> trashed up. Some, one of his friends comes to India and he finds out they're doing this and he's like, what the fuck? Just John Terry. He calls them and saying, do you know this thing? What the fuck? Why nobody has any idea. Later on, they found us. They're just scurrying for like, scurrying for one of the pictures. They found some guy's picture and like, this looks good. Put this guy. John Terry is probably the fittest person in England. Now they're putting his picture is like lungs fucked up. <laughs> Smoking gold flakes. <laughs> oh, that's such a weird thing. Um, so you think he's okay, right? He's not yeah, in some red right. zone. There's no red yeah. alerts, right? Code, no yeah. code red stuff. He's a good guy. Okay. But let's just hope he makes good decisions for himself. I'll come back to you, but talk about... Like, because everything seems like so transactional, frivolous, transitory, which is short term and very... Um, shallow and whatever that do you feel like if i use like you feel like there's somebody you know who's genuinely in love yeah i actually i have been very lucky to be around them for this while she's been very lucky they better pay you some money for this or at least give you some <laughs> fucking gift huh yeah i would like that um so i have this i had this one friend um in college so uh while i was preparing for uh, law entrance exams that is actually clad um i had my parents join me a college also so you know something to fall back on mm -hmm. and i met this person her name is deeksha and she was from kanpur she was in lucknow for the college and uh, she had been in a relationship with her boyfriend since ninth she, since she was in ninth grade so i think that's 2010 and they're still together and um, i have been through all the happy and the ugly phases that they've had because uh, the boyfriend was in, I think, in Noida or, yeah, I think he was in Noida or Delhi. And she came to Lucknow and it was long distance. So, um, she used to always, they, it was all, both of them were in like first years of college. And the boyfriend used to, his name is Abhishek, by the way. So, Abhishek used to uh, go play video games with uh, his flatmates and roommates all the time. That's not a euphemism for like doing, <laughs> like all that frisky stuff. It is just video games, right? Yeah. Okay, go on. So, uh, he used to go play video games and he used to forget to call her and text her. So, the next day, uh, I so I used to pick her up for college. So, uh, I'm sitting and I'm driving the scooty and she's sitting back uh, beside, behind me and she goes... Uh, Billion, that's what she told me. Go on. Okay. And she's like, uh, Do you want to go to your friends? You need space, right? You blocked it from the place. Take the space, take the space. Take the space. And she was so loud, she was so angry. People beside us on other vehicles, they were looking at her. Wow, she is in a mood. And she didn't care, I was laughing. And when she put the phone down, I was like, what What happened? So she's like, nahi bas, you know, regular guy stuff. He, he can't get enough of his, of his video game and his uh, friend's dicks, apparently. So Friend's dicks? Yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, she just wanted for you. Jealous, jealous girlfriend. Yeah. So, uh, so that happened. So, yeah, I mean, I've seen them in their bad moods, in their, in their good phases. And this guy... Uh, What's a good phase? You want to talk about good phase? Yeah. Yeah, go on. So, uh, like, a couple years ago, her father died. 
and uh, this guy he left his college he he got in a job so uh, yeah i think he was in college still I'm he didn't sure. finish what he. No, the he, father, girl's father, died, he quits his degree and he becomes picks no, up a job. No, no, what no, is this? Doing no, no. Shetty from the nineties. मैं तुम्हें भूल जाऊँ ये हो नहीं सकता. और तुम मुझे भूल जाओ ये मैं होने नहीं दूँगा. इस जन्म में तुम मेरी होगी. No, uh, I think uh, when that happened, he had already finished college. Okay. But I'm not sure. So and he has a job in Bangalore, I think. Okay. So uh, he comes over to her place and. So uh, her mom, he, she tells her mom that this is my boyfriend Abhishek, and um, he stays there for all the till the thirteen days uh, until uh, everything is done. And she's like, he, he so he jumps well with my brother. He brings uh, stuff. He brings groceries. He brings fruits for my family. And he 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 did everything that was supposed to be done. And he was also there to offer her support. And I really respect that. I'm like. You know that's how life is. It gets ugly a lot of times, and you cannot expect that. So, uh, even I really respect them, and I and I adore them, and I am so lucky to have known them for so long. I I've known Deeksha since twenty fourteen actually, so it's gonna be six years of our friendship. And there's uh, a Dick in your friend's name, Deeksha. Yeah, Deeksha. Okay. <laughs> yes. What's the guy's name? Abhishek. And his name is Sheikh. Sheikh. Yeah. And then he is right now. Yeah. Shake the dick. Okay, <laughs> that's long time. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna make a lot of babies, maybe. Shake, shake dicks. Yeah, and they're both like Deeksha Mishra and Abhishek Pandey. So I think it all works out. Yeah, they're probably named them Abhisha or Abhilasha. Nobody names their kids Abhilasha. Oh, they make them Abhi Dick. <laughs> It's a combination, right? <laughs> or Shake Dick. That'll be like her <laughs> his last, like Abhi Shake Shake, and her first Dick Shake Dick. Or dick shake. <laughs> That's even <Yeah. laughs> like the girl is shake dick, the guy is dick shake. <laughs> dick yeah. shake. That's really nice. What's the last you name? You should talk to her. What's the last name? Mishra. Dick shake Mishra. <laughs> That's her name, right? But it's, yeah. it's a patriarchy, so she'll probably end up taking his name. What's his name? His okay. name is Mish. Pande. Dick shake Pande. Okay. Pande. 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 No, I think it's it's gonna be a sensation after Chulbul Pande. Chipul Pandey. Dick Shake Pandey. Oh my god. Let's, yeah. What about you then? Like, have you fallen in love? Yeah, know. actually, yeah. Uh, the senior guy that I told you about. Senior guy. Yeah. Let's not call him senior guy because he doesn't deserve much recognition. Okay, fair enough. Senior guy, please. <laughs> yeah. So actually, the thing was that. Um, you know when we started talking. You should have propaganda verse and like he's bad and bad, he sucks. And he calls his mom's bills. name when he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Does, should have said doesn't that. Doesn't pay well, doesn't pay the bills. You know he's a mama's boy. You know, <laughs> falls asleep while having sex. <laughs> <laughs> On you. That happens. Yeah. Okay. Does that happen with you? It has. If you, you end up having sex with people you don't want to have sex with, this can happen. Okay. And the people wake you up like we have sex with me. Then you fall asleep. Then <laughs> they accuse you. This fucking death again. Yeah. So um, the reason that we actually started to uh, go to get, go out was uh, a lot of times we would just say the same thing, and we we had a lot of uh, you know similar uh, ideas about a lot of things. Um, that and I feel like uh, and his birthday is also like one day before my own. His birthday is on ten January, and my birthday is on eleven January. By the way. So um, it just happened, and a lot of times, you know, I'd be at his place, and uh, I used to get very cold very easily. So he just put the blanket over me, and it's just like a lot of little things that that kind of built up to it. And this one time, uh, it was like afternoon, and um, I I had a scooty, and he was standing and talking to someone. You want me to play Karan Johar song in the background? No. Kuch kuch. Gone. You were singing कभी खुशी कभी गम and then you're like कहो कुछ कुछ होता है yeah I mean like I thought that was wrong because I saw oh no I was singing but that was a more motherly <laughs> song right when the sun is coming she's like ah. okay go on yeah uh, so yeah so I was standing I was sitting on the scooter and he was standing talking to someone and it was like the sun was like direct on my face so I was trying to you know squint and just hide my face and in a moment just he just he stands in front of me and he just blocks the sunlight. 
and wow man this this is right out of the fucking bollywood movie the guy blocks his son and she falls in love with him have i not seen this have you guys not seen this this is so miserable kurt cobain would not be proud um, yeah i mean and you fell in love with this guy when you know that you were in love this is this one time we were hanging together when he said he loves your eyebrows no pimples no bad hair he is love my singing back you with the good hand <laughs> oh he is love your singing would you sing a little song now that you rapped already <clears throat> should also sing a little song uh what do you want me to sing whatever you want to sing it, think and sing it's just weird cuz someone when they ask me to sing i'm like Lost. What do you come to in Ashwin? Hmm. I could use my phone. I mean, I don't know what to sing. You know what to sing? Now you're wasting people's time. People are waiting. We're like, oh, this is going anywhere. You know, you. I'm okay. only using audience. I, I, okay. Oh. Okay. This this song is by London Grammar and it's called Interlude. Grey stairs beneath the moon. Tonight I'll be dreaming of you. People and rhythm and stay. And there you'll be, there you'll be inside my head. Hmm. All right, fair enough. Well done. If I could sing like that, I would probably get laid three times more. But now I don't think I'm. I'm really that interested that way. But if I was younger, I would have been very useful. You know, people with guitar, they get laid all the time. Yeah, I know. I like guys who can play guitar. Once I was just hanging out with a guitar, and people like go looking at me. I'm like, dude, don't come near them. Don't ask me questions. I'll be like, I'll be found. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. I think I know. We had few more questions. I mean, now I'm looking at one question. It's been like one hour or so. and I'd, because if i get into that thing we can actually do it in the next podcast mm-hmm. so let's finish with those final question uh, without getting into those conspiracies and other things and kurt cobain not kurt cobain jim morrison she loved jim morrison she, that person would always get away <laughs> but you still not brushed yet i brushed why do you think jim morrison would want to see you this guy this guy you are dating he didn't want to be like you know what tell people that you are his girlfriend you think jim morrison want to tell you that he, he knows you he's ever seen you Obviously, Jim Morrison would be more evolved than my dickhead senior guy. But he will be probably like you. You your scenario with the uh, Jim Morrison seems like the guy who killed Versace, Gianni Versace, the guy who killed Andrew Cunanan. Yeah. You will be like Andrew Cunanan. <laughs> you will be like, oh, I met this guy. I'm like fantasizing about Gianni. Except like you, he was gay and that uh, uh, Versace was gay, obviously. Mm-hmm. But the fact he kept fantasizing. Like, don't tell me this plot because I'm just on fourth one. But like it'll be same situation like you're just fantasizing about this guy. But I think people might get confused. We'll come back to Jim Morrison. Do you think you will ever get married? Apart from the obvious reason that everybody else gets married because you're a woman, you're supposed to get married. You're gonna grow old. You're gonna have kids. What is he gonna do? People are gonna order. Or a legitimate sex. Yeah, life without a man is nothing. It's nothing. I don't know what I'm gonna bring to somebody's life. So I'm like, I'm a man. I'm doing pretty decent, right? I'm not a decent person, but I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna add value. You can add value to yourself. Why would you get married? You're 23. Within a couple of years, I mean, it's already started, right? By the time you hit 25, what are you doing? There will be a lot of pressure, right? But what will really? What do you need to be really compelled? Fuck the reasons. Why would you marry somebody? Because whatever reason you give me of falling in love with people, even the guy who didn't call you girlfriend, and the other guy who loves dick. I mean, I don't think right now you and the sixteen guy you just like you know trying to trying out in the next few months. I'm not convinced. Do you want? Do you really think like you can? You could have married one of them. You could. Um, the guys I the three. Yeah, guys I you can't talk about the sixteen. Uh, yeah, I actually thought about it. I mean, with the. No, logically, can you marry right now? Like you do right now, you're twenty three. Can can you think like this is the person I can? You can just spend the rest of your life with. And make more 
45s that's her name so i'm saying 45s um i don't think so i mean i don't really know what i want and i feel like i speak for well she said it i'm going to repeat it can you just repeat it i don't know what i want that's exactly the story of life of the women no i feel like i speak for everyone when i say that nobody knows what they're doing and they just you know going along whatever but it's much more problematic right because if the guys have to ask for your consent and you have to wait you don't know what the hell you're doing so you don't even you say yes you don't know what you're doing when you say no you don't know what you're doing this is very confusing because when you say no and then then the consent problem is a guy's fault i said no why are you asking me again if you say yes then later on like fuck i didn't want to be with you i'm like i'm fucked in both situations because of my gender i always write like women are never virgin because their their gender fucked them at birth i'm just, like a norm thing like it's probably same with men also yeah i mean kurt cobain said it on the way he dies a virgin like fucks them all yeah my my quote was better <laughs> yeah okay and he's dead and alive so fuck you got <laughs> okay yeah he was some people might not even know who was kurt cobain because i mean even that guy did not know ryan reynolds and movie definitely maybe Oh, yeah. He was in Nirvana, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, he was the lead singer of Nirvana. Hmm. And American band, right? Yeah, which a lot of people. I mean, you you always see people wearing these T-shirts, with, and they have no clue about what the band is. And it's just so disgusting. And it just looks so cool. Bad. He has this cool picture, like the guitar. Yeah. But I've seen all the people who do weed. They love all these uh, rock bands. Yeah, it's just because drugs and this kind of. Uh, this this music is just so eye opening it's just like you you smoke up for the first time you're like wow there is something that beyond your little world of your this little uh, your uh, entire thing of problems people uh, have better stuff to take care of it just i mean like when i started listening to am i like uh, intro i mean like going yeah i think it's probably going to we're going to probably going to talk about it later yeah. so i feel like Let's just come back because we're probably gonna end up talking about it, right? Um, let's end with like, would you ever want kids? Would 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 you want to burden this world more than it's already burdened right now? Uh, no, not at all. I just feel like uh, this place, this entire place, which has literally no tolerance for anything anymore. People are like, you know, crazy, and they're just railing down each other on their Twitter and. posting hate speeches and everything i don't think i would like to bring another human okay now i'm going to stop you there because whatever you're giving is platitudes now my point is that every girl says i don't want to get married i don't want to have kids and all of them get married and they end up having kids then they say i want to divorce my husband they don't divorce goes through with my mother goes through with your mother also even if she even bothered to say i want to get divorced because i feel like most of people don't have any spine yeah that's true yeah is it that see If you're if you're really giving a bird to another, how will you actually you stop yourself? I'm just saying, how will you stop yourself? Actually, assert and do exactly what you want to do. You know, you still have to lie to your parents. You don't tell them what you do because that's the story of every person, right? Every girl. Now you don't want to have kids. You don't want to marry. If you end up marrying, you'll end up having kids. How many people do you know of their own assertion don't end up having kids? It's just unheard of, even in high society. But if you really like, also people change like you know like listen. I actually wanted to have kids because I was just miserable and sad and like like sex life has gone down the hill. But would you rather not adopt if you had to do? Yeah, in the first place. That's actually. There's so many like all these babies around there. They're like, oh, where's my mama? She died. Yeah, I think those people, you know, they want more offsprings who can carry their bloodline and you know carry forward the family name. So I think they have to do it sooner or later. At least one thing Rahul Gandhi is saying: I don't want anyone to carry my family name any forward. First of all, it's not your family name. Your family name was Nehru, and then she married some guy whose name was Gandhi, which is just appropriated from Gandhi because he was some yeah. chela. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, I just think that if you're bringing another entire human being in the world, and you cannot really make sure, it's like an entire responsibility. So like if. instead of spending so much money on bringing them up only to the, for them to be ungrateful little brats when they grow up and probably you know push me in an old age home and not take care of me and look at me just for as a, as a liability 
I would rather actually, you know, have a lot of puppies or, you know, plants. Yeah, your father probably, if he ends up watching this, he'll like, I should have just choked this person when she was born. How much money she has cost me and given me all this grief right now. Okay, let's end on this part. Like, um, why are you not taking shower or like uh, bringing towels or brushing your teeth, not exercising, not doing anything good in your life? What will it take? Okay, forget about that actually. That's another, I'll probably ask you later on. Mm-hmm. Why is your father not paying the fucking ransom? It's a very small amount. I didn't even ask big money. I was like, okay, these people are in Lucknow, who cares? Like, people will not pay. I just like simple money and he refused to pay. Why do you think he's not even paying for you? And this? Well, this is what waits for the man that took him. This is your ransom. Wait, I want to see this. Two million dollars in unmarked bills, just like you wanted. But this is as close as you'll ever get to it. You'll never see one dollar of this money. Because no ransom will ever be paid for my son. Not one dime, not one penny. I don't think he cares enough, maybe. Hmm. Mm. Let's see. Next time I'm going to make him... Do you want to be my dad? I mean... I, I want to be a dad. <laughs> I can, so like, I can looking for a dad, looking for a yeah, dad. Yeah, I mean, he, he makes good omelets, so I, I think I can... I can Oh, Thank sweet Jesus. It. Next time when I come back, I'll tell you, I've already, I've already thought of an offer. Much cheaper. Let's see what, what he says. And I'll tell you, update you on her um, hygiene status, which is obviously, right now, trust me, she just, I think you, I you showered and everything, right? I have, see, look at this. You showered and everything just now, right? Yeah, I did. So she looks much, much better. You should have seen her like 15 hours earlier. She looks like those people from the ghetto, from the shacks, from the jhukki jhukki, just to understand. All right, I think on that note, I have few football matches to watch. Yesterday, I could not watch uh, football matches. We were hanging out. We went to Prithvi Theatre in Bombay, which was pretty nice, right? The castle. Yes. You liked it, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, shout out to Bikram also. That's my friend, other partner, the blunt bastard. So, take care. You'll see us soon. I think hopefully we should be able to shoot two more hours. I think this is probably 70 minutes. So I think we've done well. Yeah. It wasn't boring. I thought it was better than the first one. Did you think so? Your pronunciation, your enunciation is not as good though. But yeah, it's because I have lived inside a cage all my life. Plus, also, your nose is like uh, blocked. I think the first time it was better. When you was say it? long sentences, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Also, I'm a bit more conscious because I speak really fast, but my enunciation is generally okay. Mm-hmm. Plus, if it's your first language, like what sometimes people can't understand because but because I speak like a first language, so it's just kind of more fluent. I don't say breakfast. Yeah. I say breakfast. I don't say England. I say England. <laughs> okay. All right. And he doesn't say sentimental. He says sentimental. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna cry on my uh, ex-girlfriend's pictures because she's not dating and banging some other guy. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, we should recommend them some book. Read something. Which one do you want to recommend? Brave New World. Which one? Or Homer Dears, whatever. Read this one, Homer Dears. Oh no, we've only been talking about Homer Dears, so read this one. It's about a brief history of everything. We can actually do a podcast on like what books you want to do. Bill Bryson, a short history of nearly everything. But it's actually just science stuff. It's not like how can be everything. It's like how do people have small dicks? It's like there was nothing in there. It's like they just fooled and then somebody told me it's just about science. All right. Because they say science is the only thing that matters. Take care. Please go bang somebody who's not your wife. So you listen to me, Dev. What's your birth? I've been born for the next seven years. सिर्फ उनकी